Today's food for thought comes from the first chapter of 1 Timothy verses 5 through 7, which reads, Now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith, from which some, having strayed, have turned aside to idle talk, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor the things which they affirm. In his letter to the young preacher, we see Paul encourage Timothy to move with sincere love, to move with a good conscience. Paul was telling Timothy to have faith, faith that was sincere, faith that was true and honest in his heart. I am a firm believer that sincere faith, faith that moves in sincere love, that should manifest itself from all of us sincere believers. There should be nothing fake about our faith. There should be nothing fake about our love. However, we are able to speak about love, but it's incredibly difficult for us to put love into action, right? The reason why sincere love in action is so difficult for us is because our hearts on a daily basis, they are influenced by a world that doesn't know the first thing about moving in sincere love. You see, we live in a world where people are obsessed with themselves. They, they are selfish, they are greedy. They want more than anybody else. In that selfishness and in that greed of the world, many, many are cold in their hearts today. Many are bitter in their hearts today. Many are apathetic to their actions and how their actions affect another. The bitterness of others can then rub off onto us believers and, and can affect us in a bad way. Yet you and I, we must remember that all of the law, as Jesus said, hangs on that one word, that word being love. So I ask you today, how often do you consider how you treat others? How often do you pray to the Lord when you have mistreated someone? How often do you go to those who you have wronged and seek their forgiveness? We are to have sincere love in our hearts. We are to have a good conscience. In no way, as a true child of God, should we have a heart that moves as we once did in our old and sinful ways. So I encourage you today, love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and move with sincere faith. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.